Well, hi guys, Lance here from the Rocky Mountain Life Channel. Out on another adventure today in a place I've never been. <laughs> this is called Rampart OHV area. Um, from my understanding, it's pretty well known here in uh, central south Colorado. And I am out here riding today with Ferret Face, one of the guys that got me into these betas. And uh, first time I've had the pleasure and the opportunity to meet him as well as one of his good friends and uh, we got three bikes out here today I'm really excited about having some backup and help this will be my second ride where I've had somebody with me I did a ride a couple weeks ago with uh, another guy that I met through the YouTube channel and uh, I tried to film it, but I was doing an experiment with my settings on my camera, and it didn't turn out good. The video was all washed out, uh, the shutter speed was all messed up, um, too bright, too overcooked, I couldn't save it, um, but uh, yeah, this will be my second ride with uh, other people around me, which is good, because uh, it's always safer when you got buddies around you, help you out, keep an eye on you, give you a hand if you get in a bit of a bind, so I'm excited about that. Three bikes today, for those of you who may not know who Ferret Face is and watch his videos, we've got a 2019 Beta 390 RRS. I almost bought a 390, but I opted for the 500. And, uh, and then of course I've got the 500 Beta 2021 500 RRS. And uh, Ferret Face's buddy, I'm not going to say his name because I didn't ask him for permission. <laughs> But uh, he's got, he's riding Ferret Face's 1990 DR350. Remember those? I don't know how much you paid for it, but I think you got a pretty darn good deal. Seems to be in pretty good shape. 31 years old. 31 model years. I also have the 13 tooth front sprocket on this thing today. First ride with it. Definitely shorter gearing. Second gear feels similar to what first gear used to feel like, <laughs> which is what I was hoping for. Shorten this thing down for slower moving things. Not to be mistaken with me, the slower moving thing. I am definitely a slower moving thing. Really hot today too. So I'm excited about getting up here in the trees. In the shade. See, I'm slow. <laughs>
First little tip over. <laughs> Way to go, Lance. I'm sure glad Fairface knows where he's going. Because I don't. Ooh, Schneikies has a sharper corner. <laughs> I guarantee the camera didn't show those bumps. Not like they really are. <laughs> oh. All right. So now, Ferretface and I have swapped bikes. He's on my 500. 2021 500 and I'm here on his 2019 390 and I'm really excited about this because I've never actually ridden one of these and I've wanted to feel this 390 for a while just to see you know the motor characteristics and how it revs and just how it feels in general So I'll try and give some thoughts on that here. I'm also going to try not to crash his bike. <laughs> I trust him not to crash mine. <laughs> He's a better rider than I am. So, first hill climb is complete, and it feels very similar to mine. Maybe not quite as much snap to it with the throttle, but boy, it's close. It's very close. With, ouch, with the way I ride it. So yeah, it doesn't accelerate quite as hard as mine, which is to be expected, but for this kind of riding, trail riding, this has got more than enough, and it's got that smaller displacement so your centrifugal force from that, you know, from the moving parts is less on this one. Like it does feel a little bit lighter. It's not a lot, but it's definitely enough that I think you can notice. It's quite easy to ride. I don't think I'm prepared to say I regret buying the bigger 500. But I think I can safely say so far that if I'd have bought this, bought a 390 instead, I don't think I would be regretting it. Such good bikes. He does have the stock seat on this one though. <laughs> Not as nice as mine. <laughs> 
Well, actually, I think his is actually a little softer than my stock seat. Now, I don't know if that's just because he's been riding it more. And his, you know, seat's been broken in a little bit more. Or if maybe they made the 2021s a little bit harder. I don't know. But this one doesn't feel quite as 2x4-ish <laughs> to me. So, if any of you guys watching this are considering a beta and are kind of wondering which engine to get, which displacement, because the RRSs are all the same in every way, shape, or form with the exception of the displacement. Same frame, it's just a matter of CCs. And if you're trying to decide between which ones you should get, I don't think you could go wrong with any of them, really. I haven't ridden a three uh, or a 430 yet. Now this one here, Ferretface has a oversized fuel tank on it, an IMS aftermarket. I think it might be a four gallon. Mine doesn't have that. Uh, that makes this bike way more in general, but I'm really not feeling that. <laughs> this thing is really light feeling. That centrifugal force, you can definitely tell the difference. Yeah, that was probably one of my first challenges. Like, yeah, 500, you just feel it. Like, yeah. It's not that the bike is much heavier, it's just you feel it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's two pounds heavier than the 390 in the same model year yeah. to lift it up off the ground. But it, it's this one's easier to do this kind of riding with than that one, I think. Oh, it's kind of blast. It's got power all over the Oh, it's got more power than I'd ever know what to do with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I can now say though, I think that after riding this one, even for just a few minutes here, he's got the 13 tooth front sprocket on it, so the gearing is shorter. Um, but I think after riding it now, I can honestly say that I don't feel like this thing is underpowered, even at this elevation. So. Well, I love my 500 and I'm not interested in swapping it out for a 390. <laughs> if you are at all concerned about feeling like the bike is a little bit too powerful, like whiskey throttle issues, which I can sometimes have, <laughs> if you're worried at all about that, a 390 would be a phenomenal choice. Because it's hauling my heavy butt up here with all my gear in my backpack and everything and uh, it's got plenty of juice to not make me feel like oh I wish I had more nope it's got plenty and it does tractor well I mean I'm putting around this tight corner in second gear with no clutch and it just lugs mine does too but I think this one's a little bit better at lugging at really low rpms without stalling out Now, mechanically, differences between this one and mine, aside from the displacement, is this is a 2019. The 2019 RRSs were still single fuel injector uh, in the motor. And then in 2020, they moved them to 
dual fuel injectors. Uh, and then uh, they also moved the crank back, I think. Um, tried to, you know, help with the weight displacement a little bit, weight balance. And, uh, and they shaved off, I think, a pound or two off of the older models overall weight wise. But there's not a massive difference between them. The dual fuel injectors is supposed to make it get a little bit better gas mileage. Might make it a little bit more responsive. But uh, I have no complaints about how this 2019 feels. It'll lift the tire for you anytime you want. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Very confidence inspiring. Because it does seem to have less of that centrifugal weight to it. Which makes some of these tight switchbacks and slower speed things a little bit easier for me to feel like, oh, I got this, you know. I think there's some minor changes in the forks, valving. I think they may have made the 2021s a little bit plusher, but it's pretty minuscule if you ask me. I'm having a hard time telling the difference between the two of them when it comes to suspension. Yeah, this 390 is an excellent machine. Really nice characteristics to it. Just lugs and tractors. And, and then still, when you wanted to, just boom. Really a lot of fun. Easy to ride. Just like all the betas, I think. not convinced I'm cut out for single track haven't even hit some single track yet this is double track ATV stuff the narrow spots make me nervous <laughs> oh. Oh. There you go, here's a wreck for you. Way to go, Lance. <laughs> That's what overconfidence will do to you. Thinking, oh, this is light. This is easy. I get a little whiskey throttle and whoop. There we go. However, doesn't appear to be any harm done to me or the bike. I'll have to tip mine over now to make it even. Uh, I do believe his first gear is shorter than mine. Even with my new 13 tooth front, front sprocket on it, if I could say it. Well, I baptized your bike. <laughs> A little spill. A little spill. I think I understand a little better now why I have read and heard from so many people that the 390 is kind of the sweet spot on these beta four strokes. Because this thing is really good. Alright, so I'm back on my 500, and uh, really appreciate Ferretface letting me ride his 390 and letting me tip it over. <laughs> uh, I don't believe he tipped mine over, so I'm pretty sure I owe him one. Uh, 
I really enjoyed riding that 390. That was a that's a really good bike. I feel like my front end is heavier. And that could be because of the centrifugal force of the motor, but it could also be because I've got this uh, fender bag on the front with tools in it. It's pretty heavy. So it's been a lot of fun today. Not as hot as it was earlier. Still warm, but not like it was. I want to thank Ferret Face for letting me ride his bike. Really enjoyed that. That's a, that's a very well-balanced machine. But if you're thinking about getting a trail bike, you know, a dual sport trail bike type of thing, and doing this kind of stuff in these kind of places, and you're more of a beginner, I would suggest getting the 390. I think it's a little bit easier to ride. I feel the weight a little bit more on this one front end feels heavier it's got so much power which I like at times but at other times when you're trying to navigate a tight corner or something like that and if you're just a little bit careless with the throttle this thing can get you in a little bit of trouble Not that it's bad, or not that this is hard to ride. I just think that that 390 is a little bit easier. And I'm really glad that I had the chance to ride both of them back to back because it gave me that perspective of being able to tell. I think if I'd have waited a day or two in between riding them, I'm not sure I would have noticed the difference. But being able to do it back to back like that really gave me a good sense of the difference between the way they feel. And that 390 motor is really good. Really hard to go wrong there. I do have to say though that I'm pretty darn happy with my 13 tooth front sprocket for this. This is not technical single track. I don't believe I have the skills to do technical single track yet. <laughs> 